I just feel the idea that by putting vast amounts of money into, into Africa to develop it is not going to work. I, so in that sense, I'm, I disagree with, with Jeff Sachs on those things. You just, have to, you just have to be there for a while, almost anywhere, and you know that the problem is not money. The problem are political or they're a, a question of attitude or there are all sorts of local issues that prevent Africa developing. If it was going to develop it, as we want, it would have done it by now. They've been engaged with Western countries and aid agencies for, what are we, decades, decades. And, tr you know, a trillion dollars, is it, has been spent and there's very little to show for it. The, the trigger has to be something else and the trigger has to be within Africa. So in that sense, I, 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 I think that this huge push for massive amounts of aid, regardless of the politics, has been has been disastrous and the, the, the tragedy is that be, people will become disillusioned with aid and aid used in the right way at the right time with people who really do want their countries to develop um, I think is you know it's great and I you know I support it but uh, where you've got countries which are where the leadership is maybe not committed to development at all why should they they're living very comfortably they're doing very nicely they own what they want to own they don't want uh, an educated population um, you know, why, why throw money at them? It seems, uh, it seems to me it, it would be really, really stupid. But in, in that sense, uh, but the other way in which I do agree with, with Paul Collier is that, you know, Africa's future has got to be in agriculture. They're not going to get into the manufacturing stuff for at least another generation. So the best thing they can do is to grow lots of food and that they can do well. And, and it's the duty of the rest of the world to allow that food to be in, uh, um, exported from Africa and imported into their countries to allow Africa to own, earn its living in the world.